starting with the uh, Illini walk to get dropped off in Grange Grove. I thought our players really reacted to that. Uh, and then uh, during the course of the game, I think you really felt them. You know, it had been so long since they'd been able to feel a crowd. And even though it wasn't totally sold out, it was definitely an energetic crowd. I think we sold out the student section, which uh, was absolutely awesome to see. I think we, get, as players and coaches, got to be able to recognize that and honor that because uh, they're, they're a constituent. If we win them, it just bleeds into everything, right? So couldn't be happier for our players, uh, um, especially the six-year seniors who came back and wanted to uh, start this thing off the right way. So to have that group, really the whole group in that locker room, it was a, th- a four-quarter uh, victory, right? It took all three phases of the kicking game. Uh, stressed it really since fall camp started to where we are today. Nothing's going to come easy for this group. Uh, they played, uh, played their hearts out and you know rallied around a second string quarterback. Anytime your quarterback gets knocked out, that's a big deal. And I thought Art was prepared for the moment. I give Tony Peterson and the offense staff a lot of credit to have him step into that role, really never miss a beat. I think when he had the uh, late hit, the personal foul on him, it kind of riled him up. And more than anything, it, it, it fired up the troops around him. You literally saw the offensive line get fired up, hit some good rhythm. Uh, had some guys that maybe people hadn't thought of were going to show up today. A guy like Jakari Norwood comes in, has two big runs, then a touchdown catch on the end zone. How about Deuce Span, right? Um, a guy that literally first play at wide receiver comes up with a big play like that, toe taps, uh, puts the ball out on the six inch line. Isaiah Williams, uh, you know, his first game as a wide receiver to be as effective as he was. Uh, Alex Pachowski, uh, Paucho, right? He uh, uh, come back off a, a, off a knee surgery that uh, he hasn't really played a whole heck of a lot of reps to get in there and do what he did. Um, I just couldn't say positive things about our tight ends. Uh, defensively, wasn't pretty. The only guy that really could beat us, we thought, was was two, and we gave him that one play that kind of got him back in the game. So a great teaching moment for me as a head coach to get that across uh, to our players and our coaches that we have to take away the thing that's beat us. And, uh, you know, fortunately now, that gave us a four-quarter game. When you win these type of games, even though they're a little bit, my wife doesn't like these stressful type moments, I'll probably get chastised for that later tonight. Um, but it, it, it just, uh, you know, it really does build character with your team. It does build a lot of things that you can't simulate in practice to have that happen. So uh, as far as injuries, I really don't know uh, anything. I know BP, I know it was on his left shoulder, not his right shoulder. So as a quarterback, that's a positive thing when you're a right-hander. Right, uh, I don't know how long or any of that stuff yet. So we'll see where that goes. Uh, I think the rest of the guys were just some minor injuries. I don't know anything about CJ. Um, at all. I literally don't know anything about his other than when he was removed from the game. So, uh, with that, open up for some questions. Uh, it feels amazing. It was an awesome experience. And, uh, you know, it was just all the team coming together. Hard through a perfect ball. No line blocks, great. Wide receivers ran the routes. And uh, just an awesome experience. Can you notice the difference in kind of the delivery, the kind of ball, like throw it versus landed? Uh, both of them throw great balls. Um, it, I mean, you know, Art stepped up, made a big time play. and. Uh, all credit to him, all credit to the coaching staff calling great plays and everybody stepping up, uh, doing their job. You said in the spring and that you only had three receptions to your name to come out here and do this and kind of put some more, I guess, stats next to your name. Like, what does that mean to you to be able to start to do that? Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, it feels good, but it's not about me, it's about the team. Can you explain what happened on the, yeah, the double penalty play? Can you explain? Roughing the, the, the passer, the unsportsmanlike, like, what all happened? I'm not sure. Uh, you know, just, just bang, bang. You know, football happens. Just bing, bang, bang. And uh, I think got up, just regroup myself, and, you know, focus on the next play. Did you have a particular reaction to it? I mean, that's what the coach said to you. I was ready to go, man. I was fired up. I was fired up. I was real fired up. So, what did this help? You know, when you get hit like that, you know you're alive. So, you got to keep going. <laughs> what did this opportunity mean to you today to get in there and lead this team to a win? I just want to do my best. You know, just, you know, this team, you know, coming here, and, coming here in May, this team, you know, I've never been around a group of guys that just – brought people in, you know, I lived with three transfers, Matt and Jack and you know, Jafar, and then we were so amazed at how everybody on this football team just brought us in like their own, you know, they just welcomed us with open arms, and you know, I really appreciate that. My I don't know if you answered answer this question already, but it's, all right. Sam's, it's okay. Just Sam, ask me. Sam's a couple of plays with Adrian Martinez going off. Uh, how, how big was it for you guys to be able to neutralize him and shut him down in terms of past defense? You know, it, um... It was big for us, but you know, we had, there's a couple, like you said, there's a couple big plays that we need to minimize a little bit more, like that long touchdown and uh, a couple other big scrambles. But it's like you said, just minimizing those big plays is going to be what uh, makes a difference for us. And then having uh, Coach Bielma there now, does that give you guys that extra juice to be able to go out there 
and be able to thrive off the crowd, especially in an environment like today. Yeah, Coach Coach B is doing a great job with us, making sure we're prepared, and I think that's a uh, that's big for us. And he, he's dialing it up up there and doing everything the right way. So we got, well, we all have a lot of faith in Coach Beal.